some days it's so painful, Selby, all of this clicking and clicking and clacking and breathe, breathe, in with the good, out with the bad. What do you got there? That's the biggest fatty I ever had. Uh, it's a sage stick for, for smudging, for saging. Have you, ever, have you ever tried to smoke one of those? No, no. <laughs> it's not that bad. It smells so nice, but I don't want the smoke alarm to go off. Yes, we wouldn't want that. So I have a laser, you know, one of those laser things, and I'm going to mm -hmm. move it around together as the laser and the, <laughs> and pretend that that's the. Yeah, we'll pre we'll pretend. I'm sure that worked for the Native Americans. <laughs> pretended we couldn't get the fire going, so we just pretend. We're just going to use a laser. We're just going to wave it around and, and it smells so it nice. Out. Thursday night, informed opinion, the effervescent Jackie Selby, along with myself, Scott Leisure, here to inform, impress, uh, offend, um, and just, just we've got like 40 minutes, Selby, where we can just get it all off our chest. Tomorrow's Cash Friday. Oh, you got your cash. Good man. Good man. All right there. It's all right there, Selby. All right. I need to go to the bank cash tomorrow myself. Friday. I've had no uses of the card in the past week. I've had no issues paying cash in the past week. I have nothing to report. I am enjoying now when nothing goes amiss during this, uh, our, our cashness. When, when nothing goes amiss, I can really concentrate on the look on the people's faces when I actually pull out my cash. It's like I it's like I pulled out like the first phonograph or something. Maybe. <laughs> I know. Am <laughs> I right? They're like, yeah. Oh, I have to think. But people are not used to counting that cap that cash change back to you. It could be a profit center for you. It could be. And um I've been more conscious counting it back because i know i know nine times out of ten if they count it wrong i'm in the i get more but i know there's gonna be that tenth time where i'm gonna have to be like mm, that was that was a, that was that was a 20 i gave you it had jeffrey epstein on it <laughs> yeah. buster didn't like that mention of epstein did he no he did not i'm sorry buster my apologies what uh was it tuesday was national pug day I think, I think so. It was National Pug Pug Day. Yeah, I think it was in the last week or so. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, I checked our approval rating for the week, Selby. Last week, yes. if you remember, we oh. were at seventy-five percent approval rating. This week, we are at seventy-six. Hey, hey. We, we went up one. We went up one percent, just like my, just like fuel prices. We just went up one. Next week we'll probably we'll probably get distracted by oh. something, and next week we'll turn around and we'll be up to like ninety percent, just like that. Good. Let's hope so. We like yeah. our approval rating. We do. We we are uh, as long as it doesn't go down. Gas prices can go down. I'm 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 over putting more than fifteen dollars in the Prius at a time. I'm done with it. When I got the thing. $10, $12 max, fill it up, be done. I don't know what changed. Gee, I don't know. I don't know what changed. Hey, big shout out to uh, Stacy Alberta. She is one of our newly, um, I don't know if she's listened to the podcast, but she's been reposting our reels. So thank you, Stacy Alberto. She's one of my college chums. So she is newly informed. She's newly informed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the uh, welcome to the informed side. We're glad yeah. you're here. Keep sharing it. Everybody share that shit. Share it, share it, share it. Sharing makes the world go round. <laughs> oh, boy. it does. Um, first to Maui, you know, we all watched what happened in Maui yesterday and Lahaina took down the whole city. Just by air. It was kind of. Uh, it was kind of like that firestorm that happened here a couple of years ago with, with 
all the buildings just boom, 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 boom. Um, I really, I was on Twitter trying to trying to get as much information about it as I could. I, I really, Hawaii, I like Hawaii. It's a, it's a peaceful place. There's a lot of, there's a lot of spirituality. I mean, the, the islands themselves were formed by fire. So it's kind of a, a weird twist that something like that could happen. But um, a lot of the, the chatter and the chitter on the Twitter or on X, it's X. I keep saying Twitter. What do you do? Do you don't tweet anymore then, do you? No. What do you do? You X? I, d I don't know what you're going to call it, but I'm not on the tweet. Maybe you, you just musk one out. I don't know. <laughs> if anybody knows, let us know because it's, it's, it's confusing me. But the, alar the alarming part, Scott, is that people don't give two thoughts. Most people don't give a second thought about how these fires occur. No. Not at all. They're not naturally all, occurring. All, a lot, not all, a lot of the posts on the X were climate change uh, fueled, you know. Of course. No, let's, not, let's not send a, some love out. Let's not, you know, remember the people that, what are they up to, like 40 people that died yesterday? Oh, people jumping into the ocean trying to save themselves. My let's goodness. I'm so let's go, sorry. Yeah, let's yeah. go straight to climate change. Oh. Just ridiculous. People get their own agendas, their own ideals, and they want to, well, that's what that's what the internet's for. I mean, we are we are preaching to people. We're trying to inform. We're trying to inform. We're not preaching yet. Maybe another point of view. Yeah. Yeah. We're thinking here's here's the box here's us we're thinking outside of it <laughs> i've been waiting <laughs> what do you uh for the bottom of the cup <laughs> is it the what? anniversary of oj no I, it's not like he's gonna see it he's blocked me on social media he right. has blocked you huh um where do we want to go first you want to you you got one you want to start with or i got i got one you start. Remember, we'll we were, just... we were t talking about the role for love of ass. We, yes, we were. We were talking about the love of ass. A couple of weeks ago, it, and it's a lady who goes and hugs donkeys. Correct. Now, yes. I found another one. She's an ass hugger. Found another ass hugger, and it's called One Happy Ass Farm. <laughs> And it's a miniature donkey farm. And she's always hugging and kissing those mini donkeys. It is really cute. You said Juan's happy ass farm? One happy ass oh, oh, farm. One, one happy ass, not one. one. One is the loneliest number. Okay. More singing later in the show. Oh, good, good, good. So one happy ass farm. I'm so happy okay. I found it. Just so cute. And what do they post? Pictures yeah. of the lady kissing donkeys. It's her. Okay. At the yeah. Farm. I guess she's she rescues miniature donkeys. And just kisses their ass. Kisses their ass. Kisses their ass. Because uh, I guess people think they're fun to have at first. Oh, you can have a mini donkey. Hmm. And they realize how much work they are. So mm -hmm. there are sanctuaries that take in the mini donkeys. I'm yeah do you uh hmm. how do you if you have an ass how do you wash your ass you have to take it to the car wash what do you do just hose your ass down hose your ass down okay okay so we are five minutes into informed opinion and we are <laughs> we are hosing asses we're hosing asses that's right that's right. So, um, if if anybody was also wondering, we, as deemed by Joe Biden, are the ninth wonder of the world here on Informed Opinion. Okay, thanks, did you, Biden. <laughs> did you catch that? He was at the Grand Canyon, and he he proclaimed it as the, uh, or he referred to it as the ninth wonder of the world. The ninth. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, the leader of the free, the leader of the free world, Jackie. I just have a feeling he's not making those real big decisions. They confronted, who is the press secretary, the um, girl with the kinky hair that comes out and does the... the with the press yellow press. eyeliner? I don't know, the yellow... Yes, that's her. Uh, they, approached, they approached her about why he, he doesn't... He doesn't have press conferences. He hasn't had a press conference in months and months and months. And I don't know what kind of jibber jabber she she gave, you know, it, probably telling us how busy he is and jibber jabber. Yada, yada. I have an idea for the next four year election. Why don't we just not have one? Let's just take a break from having a president for a while. Just skip it. The country just needs a little rest and relaxation. Yeah, we'll just skip it. Well, COVID's coming back. So we'll all, be, <laughs> we'll, we will all in the next year be told to stay in our houses anyhow. Oh, but, don't say it. I'm never going back. No, never going back. The Did you see this fight? The fight on the boat dock? No. Alabama. And that's the end of the story, Alabama. No, um, <laughs> Alabama, they is a boat dock, and apparently this guy they have reserved spots. They, I'm sure they pay annually or something. They've got the reserved spot. Well, yeah. a private, non-paying boat had parked in this guy's spot. It was a it was a confrontation over a parking. Space. Okay. Okay, and apparently the owner of the paid the owner of the parking space was a caucasian gentleman and the person who parked in his space was not caucasian okay now i don't know how many times i have to google the politically correct way to identify people the Afri the the man was african american now jumping back really quick to last week i checked with my african american friend today i saw him today and I asked him if he gets offended when I say black coffee. And he said, no. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. I mean, help me out. This is where my mind went today when I was thinking about this. If it's frowned upon to use the term black when you're referring to an African-American, why do black lives matter? Okay. Thank you. Good night. We'll see everybody next week. No. Um, I just, uh, I don't know. Anyhow, what I wanted to bring up was, now, when you look at this, pic, this is a picture that I've seen floating around of the, of the brawl, as Jackie would, would say, of the brouhaha. The brouhaha. The skirmish. The skirmish, yes, <laughs> there we go. This is the skirmish. Now, this is like a freeze framed picture of the skirmish. Now, if oh I oh my know, gosh, look at all wow, <laughs> if, if I didn't know that this was some brutal fight that people are getting arrested for, and so I would be like, Where is this party? I want a piece of this party <laughs> right now. Look at that. Look, you've got you've got this chick, she's just She's going overboard. You know, it looks like they're it looks like they're dancing. This guy's he's joining in. If you didn't know this was a fight, I don't know. How is that person in the middle reel with the headband on? That looks like it was inserted. Is that this a real one? part of it? Okay. Yeah. That is the lead singer from 38 Special, isn't it? Men without hats or something. <laughs> Men without boats. Wow, look at that. That, that was, was a, a kerfuffle. That was a kerfuffle, a party, a uh, mambo jumbo. Wow. So the documentary you were telling me about, that's three parts, right? Yeah, it hasn't started yet. I mean, the, only the first part is that. You want to talk about it? Enlighten us, Selby. All right. So Opp Oppenheimer is in the movie theaters, right? About... Uh, um. Manhattan Project, Los Alamos, Dr. Robert J. Oppenheimer. Well, 
<clears throat> that's of course that should make you feel pretty creeped out by watching the movie but that's hollywood thing on the big screen if you want a truly insightful documentary it's going to be in three parts but the first part is out it's 30 minutes long and you can watch it at home you don't have to leave the house or there's no hollywood involved and it's called the truth about oppenheimer and it's by this fellow named patrick mcfarland he's a very intelligent young writer and he's a fellow at the libertarian institute which is a free thinking think tank thing um anyways it is really fascinating and it's not doesn't just go into the fact that Oppenheimer was a schizophrenic and a murderer and you know performed you know illegal um experiments on his co-workers and unknowing Americans but it talks about him in college where he attempted to murder several people while he was a um, a student at Cambridge. I mean, he was the real deal. He was very easy to control because he was nuttier than a fruitcake. And the stuff that is revealed about him and the stuff that is revealed about the experiments of injecting people with plutonium and um, is really, really scary. So you'll feel disgusted, but it's it's a very well thought out um, and non trashy um, documentary, and it's on YouTube. And it's not, hey guys, look what I found out. It's not that. Hey guys, no, he, hey guys. They they so they didn't start the Oppenheimer documentary with, hey guys, hey guys. And you watched the whole. How long was the first segment? It's thirty minutes. Oh, I could do that. Yeah, no, it's really good. I think I sent you the link, but anyways, um, like I said, the guy who put it together is really, really well researched, and like I said, he's a fellow with the Libertarian Institute, um, and it's on uh, YouTube. And the truth about YouTube. Oppenheimer. Mm -hmm. cool. Just search so that. When you're done, when you're on YouTube watching Informed Opinion, that's right. <laughs> flip over and watch Oppenheimer. We'll call it Informed Informed and Heimer. The informed. I was. What I was. I was at a. I was at a, a gathering a couple weeks ago, and this guy was going. They were going to watch Oppenheimer first and Barbie second. They called it uh, Oppen Bar Barbieheimer or something. Barbieheimer. They morphed them together because they needed something uplifting after watching Oppenheimer, so they went and watched Barbie. Yeah, Oppenheimer's going to creep you out. The movie on, on the big screen, but this is not a Hollywood movie. This is really about the Manhattan Project and just how effed up it was. Yeah. And yeah. how it, it just shouldn't have been. I mean, every single piece of technology that's on the earth today that man knows about has a good and a bad side, that's for sure. So check this out, Sylvia. Um, An illicit Chinese owned lab China. fueled conspiracy theories, but officials say it posed no danger. None. Zero. The discovery of an illegal medical lab in Central California by a oh, code, yeah. by a code enforcement officer has unleashed an uproar in a rural community and fed anti-Chinese rumors online. But the officials say it posed no danger. Okay, Jackie, just keep that in mind that it poses no danger as I roll through this. Poses no danger, poses no danger, poses no danger. Are you going to list what they uncovered at that place? No Holy danger. cow. Jessalyn Harper, the only full-time code enforcement officer for the small agricultural city of Reedley in California's Central Valley, oh boy. was responding to a complaint about vehicles parked in the loading dock of a cold storage warehouse when she noticed a foul smell, <gasps> saw a garden hose snaking into the old building. Dun, dun, dun. A woman in a lab coat answered her knock. Now, if you're at the illicit Chinese lab, 
would you be answering the knock at the door? Just saying. Behind her were two others in plastic gloves and blue surgical masks, packing pregnancy tests for shipping. Sounds perfectly normal so far. Yeah, remember, except that it's, it's... Yes, remember that officials pose, said it posed no danger. Uh, Harper said they spoke broken English and told her they were from China. Uh, she walked through the lab. She found, you know, refrigerators, um, animals, <laughs> vials of, you know, blood, jars of urine, you know. Um, yeah, yeah, they found, oh, yeah, 1,000 white lab mice that oh. were being kept in crowded, soiled containers, but this posed no threat. The woman said the owner lived in China, provided a phone number, an email address, and asked her to leave. Okay, here. Here's her number. Here's her email address. She is in China. China. Uh, why did you answer the door? Okay, we go back to that too. We go back to that the authorities said a pose no threat and the illicit woman answered the door. <sighs> Alarmed by what she saw, Harper, whose work mostly entails uh, ensuring people have permits, you know, for yard sales, stuff like that, keeping their lawns mowed. She, of course, is the one that stumbles across the illicit Chinese pregnancy lab with the thousand mice. Uh, she contacted Fresno County health officials and then the FBI. Ah, during a March inspection of the lab, so there's about 25,000 people in this city, 200 miles southeast of San Francisco. That's kind of armpit land right there, right? Oh, you know it. <laughs> the armpit of the nation. Uh, officials did find infectious agents in the refrigerator, including E. coli, coronavirus, malaria, hepatitis B and C, you know, chlamydia human herpes, rubella, HIV. <gasps> this poses no threat. <laughs> but the Federal Centers for Disease Control and Prevention said there was no sign that the lab was illegally in possession of the materials or had select agents on or, or toxins uh, that could be used as bioweapons. Basically, I think what it boils down to is the lawnmower police in, what is that, Bakersfield? That's like near Baker. That's like over in that area, right? Really, mm -hmm. the 25,000 populated city, they were like, we're not going to mess with this thing. We're calling the FBI and let them come in. But that's, I don't know. What the FBI do? Well, we have a follow-up on that story. That's, that's, I didn't, there was nothing more. I don't know. Good well, grief. Follow it up. You know, just some illicit Chinese labs hanging out in the middle of the desert, you know. Right. If there's no threat, then why didn't they get licensure and set up in a city? What could go wrong? Mm hmm. <sighs> I wonder how many others there are if that's just one. Right. That makes me just so sick to think about not just that, but what they're doing in the labs that are legal. Yeah. On a lighter note, there's an Ooh. increase in leprosy in Florida. <laughs> an uptick. They say that it's an uptick in leprosy. In Le leprosy. Leprosy. So. You know, there's no cure for that. Leprosy. We're back to leprosy. Leprosy UFOs. Illicit Chinese labs. 
our president of the United States declaring the Grand Canyon the ninth wonder of the world. We are definitely, Jackie, nearing the back, back, back of the Bible. I think it's Leviticus 12. <laughs> and I think it's, it says, thou shalt not have illicit Chinese pregnancy test COVID labs in the desert. I don't know. Dude, seriously. Yeah, seriously. Leprosy, Chinese leprosy, lab, Alabama fight, ninth wonder of the world, Maui. One happy ass farm. One happy ass farm. Well, at least at least somebody is, you know, spreading their love to the asses in this world. Okay, so speaking of speaking of uh what were we speaking of? Asses. Okay. <clears throat> I have our motivational prayer for today. We need it. Okay. Hate has four letters. So does love. Enemies has seven letters. So does friends. Lying has five letters. So does truth. Negative has eight. So does positive. Under has five, so does above. Cry has three letters, so does joy. Anger has five letters, so does happy. Right has five letters, and so does wrong. Hurt has four letters, so does heal. It means life is like a double-edged sword, so transform every negative side into an aura of positivity. We should choose the better side of life. That's right. That's exactly what I was telling you before we came on the air. It, it might sound, it might sound not harsh. It might sound direct, but you know, in order to walk that positive energy path that you speak of and steer from the negative energy path. There is a degree of fuck them in that, you know. You're going down that path. I'm going down this path. Fuck them. How's that? I like it. Yeah. I need needed that after my work day today. OG did it. Fuck him too. Yeah, oh. fuck him too. You know. We must be to the end of the show because your coffee cup is empty. No, I've got water. We still have songs, Jackie. Oh, we have songs. It's 627. We can't, I told you, we want to stick this to 40, 45 minutes. All right. Sorry about that. It's okay. It's okay. I lose track of time getting informed. <laughs> Tomorrow's Cash, cash Friday. Friday. We haven't mentioned that. Cash Friday. Subscribe to the Spotify. Subscribe to the YouTube. Share the funky little posts. Smoke your sage. Roll it fat. Get some cardio, get some vitamin D. Some and, grounding. And ground yourself to the earth. Count your letters in your words. That's right. Know your synonyms. Synonyms. Simon, cinnamon. Cinnamon. Um, cinnamon. Cinnamon. Can you say the word governance? Okay, first song. All right, Out go ahead. Book. 1,001 songs you need to know or hear before you die, Jackie. Yeah. Paint it black by the Rolling Stones. Got a new ring. My Rolling Stones ring. Hey, hey, look at that. It's inlaid oh, I can with... I see uh, it. It's a tongue. Yeah, it's inlaid with uh, turquoise. Anybody need some jewelry done? I've got a hookup for you. Very nice. 
I've got a red door and I want it painted black. No colors anymore. I want them to turn dark. Black. Really great cover of that is by Echo and the Bunnymen. If you like your cover songs. I like my coffee dark. <laughs> All right. Oh, here's one for you, Sylvie. Heart of Glass by Blondie. Nice. Mm -hmm. Good one. The Zoomer. He uh, Give the Zoomer some props. He came with a couple of stories. And I kind of was like, man, you can do better. I'm, I've got him on assignment. He can do better than that. But okay. the story he told me, there is a group, I told him it's old news. I mean, we already know there's UFOs. We already know there's aliens. We heard all that like two weeks ago. We've moved on from that. Everybody kind of was like, yeah, so. But there's these Peruvian villagers that are reportedly being attacked by seven foot armored aliens. They claim the extraterrestrials have been launching attacks on the community since July 11th, 7-11. Who's being bombarded? The indigenous Peruvian villagers. That okay. is the name of my new band. Matt did not like my singing. He said not to quit my day job. Oh, thanks, Matt. Yeah, it was, that, that was reciting. I really wasn't singing. Do you feel more informed, Selby? I feel more informed. Selby, that has one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> five. <laughs> Selby. Scott. That has five letters. They both start with a S. an S. That is strange. That starts with an S too. Hey, what is that garden hose doing sticking into that old building with the foul odor coming out of it? Let's I go. Wonder what was coming out of the hose. <laughs> let's let's investigate. Oh look, they answered the door. How convenient. Isn't there a garden weasel song talks about a hose? What's the name of it? Green with Envy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh boy. Selby and, Selby and Scott sending it back to the 1990s. Wow. That's good stuff, Selby. Next week, next week, Thursday night, six o'clock mountain time. Yep. Use cash. Use cash. Stay away from the illicit Chinese labs. Uh, stay away from COVID. There are not nine wonders of the world. Prayers to Maui. Um, drink your water. Get your cardio. Love your neighbor. Do something good for somebody. And watch that documentary, The Truth About Oppenheimer. Yeah. Watch on the YouTube. documentary, part one, because part two and three aren't out yet, right? No, soon on part two, he said the next few days. And stay out of Florida. They're, they have an uptick in leprosy, apparently. Leprosy. Yeah. Who knew? Who thought? Mm, go sage yourself. Selby? Yeah. See you hasta, then, friend. Hasta la vista. Hasta. I'm not a crook. 